Now we're out here at the battery and uh, we're just going to open up this end right here and we're going to take our jumper cables and again there's only one way that these go in. We're just going to plug that in and you can see the green flashing light means that it's ready to go. Now the first thing I want to do is just show you what it looks like when you hook it up correctly. This handheld jump starter was sent to me at no charge for the purpose of this review and if, if you've never used one of these this cuts the cables and gives you the power right here in your hand. Easy to transport, easy to pack away, and easy for storage in your car, whether that's gonna be in the glove box, underneath the seat, or in the trunk. Now this one will do up to 2,000 amps. To, in order to start a vehicle, you're gonna need between 600 and 800. Your running amps are gonna be 1,000 amps, and then your peak amps are gonna be 2,000, like if you've got a flat battery that really needs to be pushed. It's gonna do a gas engine up to an 8.0 liter, and then also it will do a 6.5 liter diesel. So I don't have a dead battery right now, so we're not going to demonstrate this outside. I will show you a few things on the battery as well as this jumper, but first let's take a look at what's available on the jumper itself. So first off, you can see that I am charging it right now. It's at 77%. This is a USB-C to USB-A. And so uh, it's going to flash when it's charging and it's also going to have a little indicator here that says in. It can also double as a power bank, so I can charge a phone with this if I needed to. So I would simply pull out my USB-C, and I do have two other USB-A ports. One's a quick charge port, and one's just a regular USB-A port. And I'll show you that we can charge a battery, or a charge a telephone with this as well, just in case of an emergency. And you can see that that works just fine. So, um, what we're going to do here, when, when it comes time to jump the vehicle, you have one port right here for your jumpers, and then you've also got your jumper cables. Now, you got your positive and negative, so it's only going to be inserted one way. You can't do this wrong. Uh, the only thing that you can really mess up on this is putting your alligator clips on the wrong battery terminals. And if you happen to put these on the wrong battery terminals, you're going to get a red indicator light here in the front. And then if it happens to not have enough juice in it, then you're also going to get a beep indicating that it needs to be charged before you can jump your car. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this out to the vehicle and we are going to uh, show you the indicator lights that are on here. So when, when we plug this in, a green indicator means that it is ready to install the, the blink. And by the way, everything is noted for you right here on the back side. Okay, so your power button is right here on the side. And if you happen to be uh, doing this in the dark or if you need assistance or help you you power this on and you're going to see the percentage of your battery if you long press this you're going to get a flashlight and that flashlight's going to come in super handy of course if it's dark out if you push that one time you're going to get an sos and then if you push it again you're going to get a strobe light to power that off you're just going to long press it now we're out here at the battery and uh, we're just going to open up this end right here and we're going to take our jumper cables and again there's only one way that these go in we're just going to plug that in and you can see the green flashing light means that it's ready to go now the first thing i want to do is just show you what it looks like when you hook it up correct so when you hook this up correctly you want to hit your negative side first and then you're positive and we should get a steady green light. Now that steady green light means that it's good to go and it's ready to start. Now if I just leave this on here and not start my, uh, start my car, then uh, this is just gonna start to flash because it's gonna time out. Now if you get your, happen to get your wires crossed and you hook it up incorrectly, you're gonna get a red light on, a red LED light on there. There you go, that means that it's not correct. This isn't gonna hurt your battery and it's not gonna hurt your jumper, it's just letting you know that it's not hooked up correctly. Now again, these are super handy to have. They are replacing uh, jumper cables today so that you don't have to hook up from one vehicle to another vehicle. If you're stranded by yourself in a, in a parking lot and there's nobody else around, then these things, then these, uh, these handheld jumpers are definitely the way to go. I make sure that all of my kids have a, a pair in their car. I have a pair in my car, and I think that you need a pair in your car as well.